Hey guys, Lunar Spire 1127 here, bringing you Fairy Tale Chapter 300, where the dragon soul rests. And for the 300th chapter of Fairy Tale, I was expecting a bit more, but this was actually a really good chapter. Unfortunately, we don't know the identity of the mysterious girl that Jalal runs into, but Jalal does know the identity, and he tells Ultir and Melody everything that apparently the the girl tells him. They all now know about the Rio side, the Dragon King Festival, and the Eclipse plan. Although, and ju judging by how every, how they're all reacting, this is definitely not something. This is definitely something that is not going to turn well for the world. So, meanwhile, we cut back. We cut to um, Crocus Garden. Um, the fourth night of the Grand Magic Games, and this is actually the best part of the chapter, because, wow, I was not expecting any of this. <laughs> so yeah, Gemma is seeing Rogan Sting, and of course, as, of course, I expected this, Gemma is like really pissed off that Rogan Sting lost to Natsu, and he's uh, telling them that they should explain, like, why they lost. Rogue, he's going on saying that... Nazo hasn't even used his lightning flame ability. He achieved a perfect victory because he was really strong. We underestimated him, blah, 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 blah. And this only aggravates Gemma more. Gemma, he kind of reacts what I expect to be. He is pissed off, saying that you've tainted the name of the strongest guild. And he blows both Rogan's thing away and he starts beating the crap out of them. And then, I expected this. I had a feeling that he was going to say this. He tells them to erase the saber-tooth emblems on their bodies. And then they started calling him losers and weaklings. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Rogan Sting were going to get kicked out by uh, saber-tooth. I was actually expecting both of them to strip off their clothes like Yukino did. I, quite honestly... When Yukino got kicked out, I was expecting this, and I didn't hold no grudge against Gemma because, well, she was too confident in her abilities, and she bet on her life when she fought against Kagura. You don't bet on your life just because you, you're very confident in your abilities. But Rogan's thing, I, I'm not gonna lie, I liked these characters, and I didn't actually want them to... As much as I was expecting this, I didn't want them to leave Sabretooth. I mean, it wasn't their fault. <laughs> and I kind of felt bad for them. But then, um, Lecter, he tries to, um, defend Rogan Sting and tries to, I don't know, try to help them, but he just made things worse because, you know, he, he tells Gamma that, you know, they, yeah, they lost, but he says that he's still proud of them and that people taste defeat and then become stronger and he'll probably learn a lot in the battle. And honestly, that's kind of true. I mean, if character I mean, we've seen this before. Some anime characters do lose in battles, but you know, they learn from their mistakes and get stronger like expected. But <laughs> get fucking Genma. Wow. He, he he doesn't even recognize Lecter. He's like, "Who are you?" I mean, does Genma not know about the exceeds living in his sta in, in the lodgings of Sabretooth? I mean, really? Anyway, um, Lecter's like, don't kid like that, Master. I do have the guild crest on my, on me, after all, I'm a member too. And yeah, Lecter shows him the guild crest, but this pisses off Genma even more. And he goes saying, why do cats and dogs have the guild crest that I placed my highest pride in? And, oh jeez, wow, um, he does this. I wasn't expecting this at all. I mean, I was expecting him to kick out Rogan's thing, but I wasn't expecting him to obliterate Lecter. And that's what he did. Gemma obliterates Lecter, and and he... He... And there was nothing left. I mean, it's just the, the smoke and his, his ashes. It's like, He freaking obliterated Lecter, and... To be honest, of all the exceeds, I would actually feel bad if Happy or Pathy Lily did die. Lecter, I didn't actually care much about, but I, I did feel bad for Sting. And 
Everyone in Sabretooth was shocked, except for Minerva. I mean, Rufus and Orga, everyone in Sabretooth were shocked. Fro... Frosh, he... She... Is Frosh a boy or a girl, by the way? I mean, is he male or female? I have no idea. Anyway, Frosh starts crying. And this part I liked. I liked that Rogue was, um... He, he, I liked how he grabbed Frosh and tried to protect him. I thought that was very sweet. And... <laughs> oh my fucking god, this guild is messed up. You know, I thought Sabretooth was badass, but the more you see it, the more you learn about Sabretooth. It's a pretty messed up guild. It's insane. Anyway, yeah, so Lecter died. Which I, I want him to die because, I mean, if he did come back, then that would be just bull crap. <laughs> so, yeah, Sting starts crying because, you know, Lecter was like one of the few friends Sting ever had. He was actually the first person who wasn't afraid of him and be, was really nice to him. Genma, he he hates the fact that animals carrying the, his guild's crest, his emblem, and Sting starts screaming. He's like, what have you done? What have you done? And... I don't know whether I should be angry at this or shocked at this. This surprised me all the more. Apparently, Gemma let his guard down and freaking Sting goes at him, punches a hole through Gemma's stomach. He literally attacked the Guildmaster, who, by the way, Natsu fought him with his lightning flame dragon slayer magic and he wasn't able to budge him and Natsu beat Sting without using the flame the lightning flame magic and yet Sting he was able to punch a hole through Genma's stomach That's, isn't that a bit contradicting the, the power levels of these characters but <laughs> oh my god yeah, again, everybody was shocked, and Gemma, he got a hole in his chest, sting. Honestly, uh, the more I think about it, Gemma may be badass, but he's just, he's a really terrible person. And Minerva, Minerva, she, she's just smiling there saying, perfect. I mean, this might be a prediction here, but if Gemma does die... <laughs> <laughs> then Minerva will definitely take over as the new guild master of Sabretooth since, you know, she is his, she's Gemma's daughter after all. I'm surprised she's not even, like, upset that his father is, like, got injured. I mean, to be honest, I don't want to count out Gemma yet because he's the freaking guild master of Sabretooth. I mean, we only seen him fight once. I mean, and for ding to kill him off like so suddenly I mean it's I don't know would that be controlling by hero but I don't know <laughs> that would be pretty disappointing if Gamma does die anyway we cut back to um the Coliseum uh Gajil gathered uh Natsu, Wendy, the Exes, Grey and Lucy apparently Erza didn't show up Gajil gathers them all to show them the dragon gra bone graveyard and everybody was pretty surprised. Apparently these bones aren't from the dragons that have disappeared 14 years ago, according to Gajil. They're, they're the remnants of dragons who were here way back. Back in ancient times, I believe. And then Wendy ca came to a realization that they could use Milky Way. Apparently, for those of you who don't know, Milky Way was one of the dragon slayer techniques that Polyushka gave to Wendy, because um, Polyushka was the Edelis, the Edelis um, Grandine, and the real Grandine communicated with Polyushka and told her to give these techniques to Wendy. Apparently, Milky Way is a magical technique that can allow you to listen to the voices of the dragons who have been turned to soul, so apparently, um, Apparently, Wendy plans to use Milky Way to talk to the dragons who have died and probably learn about what happened to them and what happened to their dragons that have disappeared. And then we come back to the town. 
we see the um the mysterious girl hidden she um starts writing on her uh, notebook but she gets caught by one of the guards but she runs away the guard um picks up her notebook and apparently it says with uh, messy handwriting July 7th Eclipse Plan Dragon King Festival and that's where the chapter ends so this chapter was really good honestly I'm kinda glad we're finally getting back to the the main plot and I was actually hoping to see who this mysterious girl is but I guess Hero wants to keep it a mystery until later on next week's chapter is called the Dragon King so um, I'm guessing next week we'll get to see Wendy using uh, Milky Way to communicate to the diseased dragons and who knows maybe we get to learn about this Dragon King festival a little bit more I'm actually hoping to learn how the Rio Sai is going to cause this devastation to the world that we've seen in chapter 297 yeah 297 and I actually want to go back to see what the hell happened to Sabretooth. Sabretooth, wow. It is one messed up guild. I mean, I thought Sabretooth was badass, but now seeing it even more, it is just messed up. As I said before, I don't want Gemma to die yet. I mean, maybe he'll come back and start kicking, beating the living shit out of Sting. Or maybe. Genma does die, and Minerva does take over as a new guildmaster, Sabretooth. As for what's going to happen to Rogan Sting, I'm not real sure, but it seems like that they've been kicked out by Sabretooth. And maybe they might go and join another guild. Like, um. I was going to say that they're going to join Fairy Tail, but I don't think they're going to join warm up to the rest of the, the guild members in Fairy Tail just yet. So maybe they might join Fairy Tail eventually. If not, then they'll probably join a different guild, or <laughs> they might stay in in Sabretooth. I don't know, but I really want to know what the hell just happened. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame Sting for trying to beat Gemma. I mean, Gemma did kill off what his the closest friend and. <laughs> Oh wow. Um so yeah, overall this was this was a great chapter. Still not a lot of things have been revealed yet, but it seems that it's building up to what's to come in the next week's chapter, but it was still a decent chapter, so I'm just giving it a seven point five out of ten. I was expecting a bit more and you know, like seeing the the identity of the mysterious girl, learning more about the Zodiac plan and and um the Rio Sai. But we'll probably know, we'll know that in next week's chapter since it's called The Dragon Game. So, you know, overall this was a great chapter. And as for who this mysterious girl is, it, I hear a lot of rumors that it's probably Lucy's mother or someone from Edelis. I think it's probably possible that it could be someone... Since we had like a flashback of what's to come in the future, I'm thinking it could be someone who is who is from the future and you know traveled back to the present to stop this Dragon King festival to occur I mean I wouldn't be surprised if they did time travel I mean we had an alternate universe I wouldn't be surprised if they did time travel and one thing I did want to note is that this girl she apparently was writing with her left hand and I think she probably only has like one left hand I don't know what happened to her right because she because when she got her pencil she um she removed the cap with her mouth. She didn't have. I, we didn't see her like left hand or anything. But I can probably. And since her writing is messy, I could probably assume that she's probably right hand. She writes with her right hand. That's why her writing was messy, according to the guard. As for what this message, why she wrote down this message, maybe it was to remind her of what's to come. But. There's still so much I want to learn, and I really wish Shiro would, um, you know, like, give us a little bit more information. But overall, it was still a great chapter. You know, this being the 300th chapter fairy tale and all. So, yeah, this was uh, Fairy Tale Chapter 300. Really good chapter. Can't wait to see what happens next week. I'm Lunar Spiral 27, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.